If you're wanting to know how to add image extensions in Google Ads, it's actually pretty easy. So I'll show you how it works and then you'll be able to just go ahead and start adding image extensions in your own campaigns. And then we'll go over a couple of other details. But first of all, when you're in Google Ads and you're on a campaign, meaning you've selected a campaign from the uh, gray column, you should be able to select ads and assets. And then from there, you should be able to select assets and that's going to be more or less your extensions and then there's some options up here by default it'll probably be on assets but at the current time you have to switch to associations legacy and then you can actually see image extensions that exist currently but to set up new ones all you do is click this create asset button here and click image when you do that, it's going to pull up a window where you can actually just start adding images in. And you'll be able to do it on a campaign or ad group level. So in this case, we're gonna do it on a campaign level so that it shows up in all of our ad groups. But you can sort of see how it looks here. So we've got an auto detailing ad, you know, let's talk about auto detailing and a discount and everything. And then there's a picture right here where it's showing some tires being cleaned. But let's say we want to add some more images of interior car cleaning. So we can come over here to images, click images, and then um, we can click upload. And I actually already uploaded an image in here, but basically all you do is drag, drop it in, and then it's going to go ahead and upload that image in. Once it's done, you can just click and then it's going to have you crop the image so you can it actually automatically crops it seems like it uses artificial intelligence to figure out what part of the image to focus on because it seems to auto crop pretty pretty good <laughs> uh, so we'll select the ratios that we want and then once it's done cropping we should just be able to click the save button right here sweet so now we can click save and it says it's waiting for this to upload. I'm just gonna clear this out, click save. Now you can see the image pops up right here. And then when we click save right here, now we can see that this new image has been added down here. It's under review, so it's gonna take some time for Google to review it. Um, just a couple of things to note. If you have too much text in the images, that will cause them not to get approved. So just make sure there's not too much text in the images. And then also make sure you have the rights to the images. You don't want to upload an image that you don't have copy, like you don't have the rights to and get a copyright violate, you know, <laughs> lawsuit on your hands or something. Then when you get your image extensions uploaded into Google ads, you'll start to see some different conversion data and um, analytics data pulling through. I think it's important to go through this because it can be a little bit confusing at times. So image extensions don't always show up on an ad. And you can see some of these aren't really showing up at all. Like this one's not showing up. Like this one's hardly showing up at all. And some of them show up a lot. Like this one seems to be doing quite well. And it says over here that there's four conversions, right? But you can't really get a conversion from an image. So essentially what this means is when this extension, when this image extension displayed on my ads, of the times that it displayed this image in particular, that ad received four conversions. So this data right here basically just indicates what's happening with your ads when the extension is showing. So the extension showed 111 times. Of the times it showed up on the ad, which is 111 times, the ad was clicked 14 times, which gives us a click-through rate of 12.61%. And then we've got the cost per click and the cost and the conversion rate and all that different stuff, right? Well, what we can see is that when this image right here shows on ads, well, these two images, we get a really high conversion rate, like 28 to 30%. Whereas when this image shows, we only get like a 20% conversion rate. Although we don't have a whole lot of clicks on this ad, at least in the date range that we're looking at. So we would probably want more data than this before we make a decision. But if you're seeing that these two images are performing really, really well, and then this one's eating up a bunch of budget, like, you know, it's costing way more, 
um, then you could essentially just pause this or remove this image and then add in other ones and keep testing them to figure out what's going to perform the best. So I hope that makes sense. If there's anything you have questions about in terms of how to add an image extension to Google Ads or anything of that sort, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with Google Ads anymore, <laughs> then you can always reach out to me. Uh, my company is Missoula SEO Geek. I'll leave a link to my website down below, but we do manage Google Ads for different companies and different industries and you can come learn about what we do, what makes us unique. You can even read some of the testimonials from some businesses that we've taken from zero to over a million in revenue like this one here and really just see that you know this is the type of thing that's going to explode your business growth so feel free to reach out you can always give us a call or contact us through our website and look forward to working with you